This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, Floyd Mayweather has offered to pay for George Floyd's funeral services, and they actually posted a copy of the check and everything. It's $88,500. Now, we don't know whether or not the family has accepted that offer, but he is offering to do that, and he is sending that check to the Fort Bend Memorial Funeral Home to cover everything. Very, very honorable. Uh, That's dope. Drop, drop on the clues bonds for Floyd Mayweather. That's definitely dope. And ch- And Drake has donated $100,000 to the National Bailout Fund to aid arrested protesters. He posted a screenshot of that donation as well. And it's an organization that reunites families, creating a national community of leaders who have experienced incarceration and working with groups across the country to transform harmful systems to keep people safe and free, according to their website. All right. Drop on the clues bombs for Drake. Very honorable. Everybody being charitable. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, another person, though, that has spoken out, J.R. Smith. Yesterday, we reported about him beating up a person who was breaking into his car, who broke his car window. And now J.R. Smith is saying that he kind of feels disappointed with himself. Here's what he had to say on the Pat McAfee show. It was just a random act of stupidness, and I give him that. But that ass whooping was a random act of stupidness on my behalf. <laughs> and you know what's sad? Because like I, I, the, after the like the first two kicks, like in the third one, you could you could kind of see it, it wasn't that much emphasis on it. Because I, 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 at that point, when it happened, I seen red. And then when I like when I finally snapped two and what was going on, I was so I'm still, still like disappointed with myself. Even though people say I shouldn't be, but it's just like. For me, I'm 34 years old. I have four little girls at home, regardless of the fact whether it was right or wrong. I don't want them to have that image of their dad. JR, you should not feel that way. Uh, that was a very, very impressive beatdown. Drop on the clues bombs for JR Smith. I often watch these fights online, and I'm like, damn, these dudes can't fight. Or, damn, these dudes ain't hitting hard. JR was on that young man's ass. Uh, I'm surprised the young man was able just to get up and run the way that he, he, he did, but I'm sure that his adrenaline was so pumping, and he probably was on some drugs. That's probably why. But Jr., you did a phenomenal job, sir. Yeah, I, I didn't have a problem with it. I mean, it is is I'm, I'm minding my business You're in a residential area, and you're just gonna start effing up my ish. No, uh, my first reaction is to beat your ass. Phenomenal right. I think anybody job, who JR. finds somebody breaking their car show window, that's gonna their um, windshield is gonna do that first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal job, Jr. You have nothing to be ashamed about, nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay, your good good footwork, the kicks were landing properly. Okay. Good job. Nice punch. But I do understand. I do understand what he says about having four little girls at home and he doesn't want that image to be the image that they see, whether it was right or wrong. You know, I get that. You have children and you're like, all right, I don't want them to look at their dad like this. Well, also, well, isn't it protect your protect your family and your property? I mean, one thing about my right. my daughter says is you know, they know daddy's the protector. I'm not just gonna let somebody come up and F up my ish that I work very hard for. No, it's not gonna happen. And he, and, and, well, and that was his thoughts. Your daughter, so, and and your daughter needs to see that video because your daughter can show that video to all her future boyfriends, and all her future boyfriends can be on notice that daddy will whip your ass. Okay, even at the tender age of sixty-five, when Jr. gets old. But yes, you can't fault somebody for reacting that way when you're breaking their property. So, but I feel him on everything that he's saying with, as far as what he regrets. But nobody looks at you like you were wrong for that. All right, Jason Whitlock. He is leaving Fox Sports. He's apparently both sides could not come to an agreement on a new contract. So they said they believe that he's looking into starting his own direct to consumer business, according to sources. So we shall see what happens. But right now they're looking for a new host to replace him. So he's not going to be doing um, the show with Marcellus Wiley no more? Nope. They said Friday was actually his last day. If Fox Sports 1 does not hire Jamel Hill, they are crazy. Okay, Jamel Hill uh, used to be on ESPN. She's got her podcast, Unbothered, right now. She does the podcast with uh, Van Lathan. I think it's called Down the Hole. I know it's about the wire. Yo, that would be a good pairing, Jamel Hill and Marcellus Wiley on Fox Sports 1. I would love to see Jamel back on TV discussing sports every day. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.